It's the Dungeon Divers, here we go! It's video games, snacks, and friends, whoa! Hey, fuckers! Uh, welcome to Red Dead Redemption. We're fucking playing this. It looks gorgeous, oh my god. This is only like one generation behind it, it looks fantastic. Yeah, so that was a little abrupt. Um, yeah, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. I've never beaten this game, I've never even come close. So I figured, I have a fucking channel, you know, this is a perfect excuse. So let's do this. Um, there was no option for me to um, start when I want, so it just kind of crept up on me, so. Hopefully I made it clear that we're starting the episode. Uh, don't ignore that, that's just for me. What's going on here? Is this our hero? He doesn't look too hot. He looks like he fought a bear. He looks like fucking Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. What's up, hot ladies? I mean, Rockstar always knocks it out of the park. I'm sure you don't need to tell anybody that. Well, get on the fucking train there. I fucking love the Wild West, too. It's so good. I'm a big fan of, like, all the old Clint Eastwood, John Wayne movies. Oh, I like how the cars move. You see that in the back? Just like an actual train. How the train cars are like... Well, I for one am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Mm. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Ah. So we see religious themes already. Unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Ah. So these people, they're, uh... They're cringing on the territory of the natives, and they feel like they're helping them. Huh. Not only they must be. Now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Wow. Are you gonna hang him as a witch? Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns, yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. But John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. You guys don't seem too nice. Money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Mm. I see the government was corrupt even back then. What you must remember I'm going to be very salty during this playthrough. We have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. Oh they shit. The opportunity we have. Is that the chick you meet up with? Like, live among people in like, 30 minutes? For real? I didn't know she was on the train. And who let you worship in peace? Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. 
Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. So my man's yes, just sitting here listening. It is confusing, but you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Oh boy. What a name. It just oozes Wild West. Secretes it. up four eyes oh here we go all right oh god damn it's been a million years since i used a controller oh shit oh especially an xbox 361 wow uh i guess we're gonna go through here and see what's what what's up y'all how you doing with the hat i like your hat i like my hat too oh shit i want one the blip on your map indicates a mission objective I guess we're gonna go in here. Oh, did I fuck? Did I make that guy fall? I did, he's on the ground. Oh my god. Marfin. So good. Mr. Over here. What's up, you old fucker? You must be John Marston. Yeah. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Hmm. I got me a fucking horse? He got him a piano and a fancy hat? And that lady's naked? What? This game is the fucking best. Let's go. This sensitivity is, like, wonky, though. This is gonna be a hard game to play, I think. Giddy up. Ah, get out of my way. Come on. So I guess I'm gonna follow you. Oh. How do I stop? How do I stop? RB. Well, I'm trying not to shoot you. Oh, God. Ah, so he's taking care of business with an old friend. A dusty revenge tale, maybe? Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Son, Armadillo. it's the fucking early 1900s or the 1800s. You can just say prostitute. Or a whore. Hey, girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Are you perhaps implying infidelity, my guy? Who the fuck cheats on a woman? What piece of shit cheats on yeah. a woman? Yeah. yeah, so it was the marshal who hired Women are beautiful, me. man. They're the fucking you know, greatest thing on the planet, the by name. the way. Says he got a telegram I'll get into that later. Big bugs for a After guy. the story. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah, man. I fucking love... Like... I like you women better than men. No, well, I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Yeah, I kind of wish there was like a female cowboy. You, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. 
like a fucking western girl with an accent that's fucking powerful as shit and strong and beat the shit out of a man. That's yeah. awesome. Here we go! Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is mm. where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> I will, you fucking crazy old buck. Get some new teeth. Wash your face, maybe. A giddy up. Actually, let's fucking book it. Housekeeping. Hero. Is there a doorbell or? Bill! Huh! Bill, I've come for you! How do you even know people are here? Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. Oh, there he is. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Hmm. You guys are just waiting up there. Need saving. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. What? Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Is this exposition, Bill, maybe? I implore you think about this. They use a lot of big words. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's exactly <laughs> my point. Oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them that's not a word to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time well mm. oh. <laughs> Poor John. well that's not good you got gut shot there my guy and there's fucking vultures around you you're probably going to die. But what is this? Guardian angels, maybe? Son, there's like eight people in that fort. And what the hell were y'all doing? to be here so quick as to have him not die with your savage. <gasps> I'm in someone's garage. Hey, baby. Well, yeah, alive. you were on the train. 100%. I knew so it. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? Awesome. I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh... Marston. 
John Marston. John fucking Bonnie Marston. McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Oh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? I knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like Oh, you. shit. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're you might want to change your bandages, my dude. You later, help me patrol the perimeter. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course, and thank you for saving my life. I mean, next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Yeah, you think about that, dog. This is my house. It's beautiful. This is my town. I own it. This is my rope. It's pretty great. Uh, but I'll show you more rope uh, next time, actually, now that I have control of my character. It's been like 15 minutes. That's a good little chunk. Explained some of the story. Uh, left you questioning, wanting more. It's pretty fucking awesome, in my opinion. Uh, so I guess I'll see you uh, in the next one. So peace out.